Daphne here from Steam Design Lab to show you how to build a catapult with plain paper. This video was inspired by the video How to Make a Catapult Out of Paper by Josh Builds and incorporates a few modifications. We'll start by rolling a few tubes. Turn your paper so that it's facing up and down and lay a glue stick at the bottom edge of your paper. Tuck the edges in with your fingernails and then push to roll the tube all the way up. After that you'll get it securely fastened with tape. I'm going to speed the video up so you can watch me rolling all the tubes, but at some point I will slow it down so you can see the perfect method of taping these tubes. You're going to need to roll seven of these tubes. So here you'll see me rolling a tube at regular speed. Once again, I'm rolling the tube around the glue stick. Now, when I get to the end of this tube, you'll notice that it's not perfectly lined up. So I pull the glue stick out and I press the edge down on the table until it's nice and flat. Once again, I'm applying a piece of tape to the center, but notice that I'm applying a tape in the long direction. That way, more of the edge is taped down with that little piece of tape. I apply another piece to the top and then one to the bottom. Speeding it up again for the last couple of tubes. Next I'm going to show you how to do a double layer tube. I'm taking one of my regular tubes and I'm applying a piece of tape all along that seam to make it nice and smooth. I'm going to be using this tube as my jig to roll my double layer tube. That way my double layer tube will be a little bit bigger and this tube will fit nicely inside it. I'm going to be making this double layer tube into my throwing arm for my catapult. It needs to be a little bit stronger than the rest of the tubes and that's why I'm building it this way. This time grab two sheets of paper and line them up on your table. Then place that tube that you just taped up on top of the bottom edge and start to roll just as you did before when you used the glue stick as your jig. Slide the inner tube out and then you can go ahead and level up the ends and tape it. Be sure that you continue to hold the center tightly closed so that it doesn't unravel on you. Once again, speeding the video up a bit. Now I'm going to start cutting the tubes into the sizes that I'll need. I'm going to start with my double layer tube and measure two inches from one end. Then cut the tube along the line you just drew. You'll be using both sides of this tube when you're done. Place one of your single layer tubes inside the large end of your double tube that you just cut. Now we're going to cut four of our regular tubes into half tubes. Line them up on your ruler and measure to four and a quarter inch from each edge. I did this pretty quickly for the video, but you'll want to take your time and make sure your measurements are as close as you can get them. Cut your tubes in half by cutting where you mark the line. Next, grab 
two of your regular full length tubes and mark them at six inches. Now cut. We're only going to be using the longer portion of these tubes. Finally, grab one of your half tubes. We're going to trim a little bit off one side to make this tube three and a half inches long. When you're all done, these are the tubes you should end up with. I'll show you how to do the contoured ends in the next video.